and no, you can't. There's nothing you can do to convince anybody to do anything. All you can do is breathe life into people. That's why motivation doesn't work. Motivation is temporary. It's a high. It's controlling. It's selling you a dream. You feel me? So you do not want to motivate anyone and you do not want to be motivated. You need intelligence. You need new intelligence so you can make new decisions, accurate decisions, accurate decisions. If no one around you is digging your, your idea, <laughs> right? If no one around you wants to jump on your ship, No one around you wants to jump on your ship and flow, right, towards the sun. Then you got to leave the ass. And that's okay because this is time travel. You feel me? Time is not even real. Time doesn't exist in, in the realm. You feel me? Your body gets tired, but your mind doesn't. Your mind is always going to be wandering. Your mind is deeply in tune with your conscious, that being, right? When you can just talk inside your head and hear those words that you said, like you can say now, like say now in your head. Say now in your head. Now scream it. Scream the word now in your head. You know? If you did that, you would understand that there's a being in here. You actually heard yourself yell. You actually heard yourself speak. And you didn't use any of your five senses. You feel me? So you have to be more in tune with that and everything. And in that being, in that being, it will emit through the body and draw to you everything that you need. It'll draw to you the people that you need, the circumstances that you need. You feel me? And you will create time travel because you'll be so involved with yourself. You'll be moving at a different frequency. You'll be vibrating faster. You'll be, literally, you'll be vibrating faster so you'll have faster thoughts. So you think to yourself, like, I need to do this. Like, look, let me get that done. Oh, yeah, let me knock that out too. Oh, yeah? Sure, I could be there. You feel me? You're racking up ideas. Your your reality is based on cause and effect. You are literally racking up cause and effect. You keep causing and effect, cause and effect. You're moving through life rapidly, right? So when you're more in touch with the being, you can get those those answers, right? When you're more in touch with the intelligence, the the guidance, the fucking ideas coming to you, like stop not trusting yourself. Stop not trusting yourself. You feel me? If nobody wants to run with you or get on that way, it's cool. It is okay. Stick with the only thing that you know. The only thing that you came here with and the only thing that you're leaving with. Master this. Master this. Nobody wants to do that. Everybody's worrying about reaching for others, getting those on the outside. Do you believe in me? Hey, what do you Hey, what do you think about this? The fuck it matter? What does it matter if you're the only thing in, in existence? What does it really matter what that other person thinks or what even I think? I'm here to relay a message, period. Anybody around you is there to relay a message. Your children, your girlfriend, your mother, your parent, your, 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 your sister, anybody. All they're doing is there to relay a message. Even them standing there, there's a reason. It's up to you to figure it out. Relay message. What does the brain do all day? What is your purpose in life to do as you're becoming? Get the information, boop, process, make a decision. Is this good? Is this bad? Does this have a virus on it? Make your choice, then download, okay? Install, become it, and then output. That's your purpose, that's your life. That's the only thing you need to be focused on. Getting a good vibration, right? Making a decision embodying the information, acting on the information, and then giving it away to help someone else out. And if it was insane, and it works vice versa. If it's information, you process it, and you get a bad, you get a bad um, result from it, okay, you output the information. Hey, this is what's happening over there. You don't wanna do that shit. I did it. I did it. That's why I'm able to push my videos, and I'm able to give you whatever type of content that I feel is, is matching my frequency. Cause anything that I've been through, y'all need to talk about that shit. I gotta shoot a video on it. So nobody really is ever gonna be completely on your way as long as you're moving at a rapid frequency of cause and effect in your internal being, meaning my gut said, I need to do this shit and I'm doing it. Don't know why. Get out, All right, dig this shit. This morning I woke up, I kid you not, this morning I woke up and something said, yo, Check out them some plane tickets. Check out some plane tickets. Check out plane tickets. I 
don't know why, bought a ticket to New York. I said, I need to go to New York and I need to give a talk. I don't know who I'm going to, going to stay with when I get there. I don't know where I'm sleeping yet. I don't have a hotel. I don't have a car. All I bought this morning was a ticket because the, the price was decent. And something said, buy it. I'm following the gut. I'm following the gut. Anything can happen. And what happens is meant to happen. You feel me? Freedom, owning your reality, not giving a fuck about what anyone thinks about your perception. Because there's signals that you don't understand. You feel me? By you not understanding someone else, that's just something in you that you do not understand, bro. You need to figure that out. You need to figure that out. Why she always bitching at you? Figure it out. Figure it out, like, yo, man. You, you, you never, you never clean up. Shit, maybe I don't clean up. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, no, no, you're so bad with money. Oh, no, no. Your bills, you're broke. Shit. Maybe I, maybe I do spend too much. You know? Just get the, get the message, process the information, consider it, you feel me? Install it, or download it, then install, and then output. That's the way it works. Your brain is a broadcasting and receiving station for information. That is how we move, through information, inform, make shit, inform. You get what I'm saying, you know? Information is communication. Every every walk is communicate. You going to the bathroom is communication. You feel me? The body say, yo, I gotta pee. You feel me? It was communication. Okay, let me go. Communication. You pet your dog. Communication. You talk to someone. Communication. There's messages all around you. You what? Do you, what happens when you go out there and you and you, and you chill on the beach? You feel damn good. You're getting the beach. It's giving you, you're receiving it. It's giving you a, a great feeling. It's giving you love, nature, prosperity, hope, motivation, you know, oneness. Whatever you're experiencing, you're getting it. It's giving you, and you're taking it in. Communication. And you're giving it back love. That why, that's why it stays there that day. That's why it doesn't rain on you. You feel me? And if it does, you got to appreciate the rain. You got to see the significance in that. Can't, what? Let me, let me, let me, that's how it is. Like, if this is my life, right, if I'm living my life, and I'm just over here, you know, like, it's like my feet are turned this way, but I'm just over here a little too much, like, I'm losing. I'm giving away my personal power. You're losing your personal power. It's all you have. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking think that people understand how serious this is. Like, this is life, dude. We're not talking about, like, a piece of life. We're talking about like the whole thing, you know? Like, like, so it, it matters here, okay? We gotta take this shit serious. Like, you, you slip up, you could. Some people don't pay attention so much they end up in jail for no reason. They just, they just drifting through life. Da 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 da. Kill someone, drunk that, um, drunk driver. I know a guy. I know a guy. One of my boys, they oh well, you know. And I'm not saying he was drifting, but he, he wasn't paying attention. Had like two or three drinks. But they had like two drinks and he was just driving home one night from a wedding. Boom, killed two people. This man's doing 22 years in jail. One night, not paying attention. I kid you not. One night, not paying attention. And this happened like four years ago. Maybe three years, yeah, probably three years ago. 22 years. And he's like 26 years old. Black dude, never been to jail. Never had, never had a slap on the wrist. Played the piano and, and the drums in church. I kid you not. Stop paying attention to your reality. Please, I dare you. I dare you. Wake up, man. They don't want to get with it. That's cool. That's cool. Just watch me do me. And you're going to do it at such a rapid pace. You're going to be able to time travel. You're going to go and experience, experience. And then you're going to look back and see them still dragging their ass. You're like, hey, man, it is what it is. You go back, you still help them. You feel me? You go back like, hey, I was here. I know what's coming up. You know? I know what's coming up. There's going to be like two stores up ahead. One store has bad people. This other store has good food and good people. You want to go to that store. It looks like the dirtiest store, but you want to go to that store. You sure? Trust me, trust me. Cause I love myself. I understand myself. 
And to understand yourself, you must study yourself 100%. You must shower in the dark if you have to. Take nocturnal showers, black out the windows, and just stand in the shower and let the water beat on you while you just go into nothingness. You feel me? You just start projecting your reality like you're doing right now. Just project it, right? Just start just start seeing what you really want to see. I do. I, I'm literally projecting my reality right now. I'm literally seeing everything that I want to see. Literally. You're, you're in that control. As light, I'm, I got to have to shoot a video about this, but as light hits the retina and hits your eyes, right, think about it. Like, think about the eye. Like, think about the eye and think about the body and the brain, dude. Like, it's dark inside the brain. It's completely dark inside. The, there's no light inside of here. It's dark. I'm perceiving reality. You're perceiving me. You're seeing light. All you're seeing is, is matter. This, I'm atoms. I'm a, I'm a bunch of atoms vibrating at a, at a very dense, dense, dense frequency. And there's photons emitting off my atoms, which allows the light from the sun that's hitting my arm. It allows for you to see it. You feel me? The photons are going directly to the retina of the eye, which transfers back here, which goes through the penile gland, back to this, uh, this part right here of the brain called the center of vision, where you're literally, like everything you're viewing right now is being projected from the back of your brain. Right? Because light's hitting it. It's refracting it. So if, if light's refracting it, so if it's coming at like a, like a 45 degree angle, it's coming, boom, and then it goes back down. So it's like boom, boom. That's why you see upside down. If you don't, if you don't know this shit, I'll teach it, but you gotta do the research. Boom, and you're seeing like that. You feel me? It's not reflecting. Reflecting is like boom, boom. You feel me? And so you gotta understand that, you feel me? If everyone wasn't your reflection, then they all be upside down. And it have nothing to do with you. But you're literally seeing your reflection. I love you guys, man. I just want you to experience man, what, what I experienced, man. But you have to put your time there. You have to put your time there and realize that if you can see, if I'm projecting what I'm seeing, then I'm controlling everything. I'm controlling everything. I'm in control. You're in control. Don't worry about people jumping on. They're not there for that. They're there for something else. They're there for something else. All right? I love you guys. I'm going to New York. Like I said, I'll be in New York uh, September 14th through the 18th. So. I don't know where I'm gonna be at yet, but if you're there, holla at your boy, man. Let's squat up, let's give a talk, let's give a lecture. It's gonna be free, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be. Yeah, but as of, as of right now, man, we just setting up shop, you feel me? We as in me, myself, and I'm just doing whatever it takes to expand, to optimize my information, and, and, and save those who need to be saved, those who are chosen, you feel me? If you think you got a shot, then you need to run with me. If you think you have a shot, let's go. Let's do this shit together. Find me on Instagram, J underscore McPherson. Facebook, uh, you can find me in just type J McPherson on Facebook. Type it in uh, Google. Anything, man. Just just come come see me, man. The link is below to join the private Facebook group and also um, to download my audio book, 50 Lessons, Machine Mindset, and my latest one, uh, One Hour Later. All right? I will see you when I see it. Peace.